You know, we've been watching this young fella. I can say young fella. Uh, you know, that man so, grown now, bro. Exactly. Not only is he grown, <laughs> he's probably like just a brother in terms of like my age range. But you know, this young fella, little little yachty. You know what I'm saying? He has. Well, I don't even think we have to pull anything up on him. As a matter of fact, I'm not gonna share the screen. Well, we don't have to really pull anything up on Yachty because we already know what it is. So, Poland, all right? Yeah. Poland's been having a moment. Hit. Hit? You you, you want to call it a hit? I, th- I think so. I, I, uh, underground hit. Underground hit. I don't hit. know if it's going to go all the way. I okay. personally believe in it, but that's as a fan, not as a music person. Okay. That's the fan in me saying it could go all the way. You make a great point. <laughs> See, so, and I think Yachty alluded to this one time, or maybe I just made a video or something about it but yachty was a part of this when you have i feel like coach k actually mentioned this somewhere when you have a brand and people like you yeah they want you to win they want you to win yeah right yeah so you always have another at bat yeah now you might take some l's and it's gonna be like ah we can't support it because it's just it's, it's just not it and it's cool that your fans are honest with you right but we still want you to get another one yeah. We're not going to take that bad song or let that bad moment be what it ain't. But when you finally have something, we're going to be happy for you and be just as, as excited to support you. All right? I, I think that's a really, really um, key thing where it's just that long-term value of connecting to, to the level of a true brand in a moment in time because it always buys you more visibility. How many of these people, it'll be like an old star that they now they can get on a reality TV show or something, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you have something. And we go watch it. Right? And people are going to watch we it. go watch it. Because we made that connection, man. Let me yeah. see what's up with Waka. What Waka doing? You know what I mean? With Soldier yeah. Boy. What is he doing? Like, do people just pop up because we've already made that connection to those brands. So whether it's to, into different arenas or in that same arena, whatever it is, there's always another day to live. Yeah. If you have a brand. Yeah, and it speaks to the personality thing. Like I said, it's like if you are a cool enough person, then people just want to kind of see you win. They want to see you mm-hmm. and not maybe go to the top, but as far as you can take it. Like I have a lot of artists that I don't particularly like their music, but they seem like cool people. So when they drop something, I go check it out. Yeah. And if it's nice, you know, I listen to it again. If it's not nice, I'm like, all right, well, I did my part. You know, best of luck to you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Hopefully you don't get shelved or whatever <laughs> you know, comes from this. And I feel like he's good at that, bro. Like, Yachty has a, a – I mean, it, as a Yachty fan, his personality has changed in a pretty interesting way over the last couple of years. But I feel like overall – you said what I mean? Yeah. Are, are you a Yachty fan? Like, were you following him pretty early? I followed him pretty early. I never thought of myself as a Yachty fan. <sighs> but I never thought of myself again. I just don't think a <laughs> fan, like, period, in my, in my mind. No. There's, like, all my the people I was a fan of, like, I used the word fan with, I was probably like 10 year old old and under. After that, it's just people I really, really appreciate. I don't don't know. I'm I'm just weird like that, bro. I'm just weird like that. I was at. I fuck with Yachty. That's what I say. I fuck with him. That's what I say. I was at the underground show. I think it was like 2018 Uh that like him, it was like him, K Supreme, and somebody else did, but K Supreme broke the stage and like a a shootout happened. I was there, bro. I was was there early. Yeah. You almost got shot. No, I was gone way before that shit happened. (laughs) Okay. Like after I saw Yachty, I dipped. I was like, oh, it's time to go home. And then probably like 10 minutes later, you know, you got the call. You okay? You still at the spot? No, what happened? Some shit. Shots rang outside. Oh, no, I'm about five minutes from the crib, man. I'm good. Thanks for letting me know. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) It means I left right in time. But I've been watching him for a long time. So it's like really early Yachty. Really, really, really early Yachty had the the scam personality thing. If you were in underground Atlanta, he was he was pretty. I would hear about that. Yeah, he's yeah. pretty well known for doing that. And then he got with QC. They flipped it and flipped him into like this, you know, childlike personality, this goofy <laughs> kid like guy. All of us watching, like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, bro, no way. But it was a good look for him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he rode the whole. I want to call it a kitty brand, but that's a what he he put a, a name for it like I'm, bubble gum pop. No, not uh. that. Like he was like I'm the king or I'm the savior. I think he even put an album concept around it, like the teen. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Come on, fan. <sighs> Come on, fan. <laughs> <laughs> we are the same boat, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. 
He's, he's like the, the 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 voice of the teens or the t- he, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, something right? like I'm that. The yeah. Voice of. I wasn't like, a teenager when that when he was saying this. I, that's I ain't all really, I'm saying. I ain't really. See? I ain't connect I'm with that part. Yeah. You know what I mean? You my little bro or whatever. I think Ice Cube. I saw some Ice Cube <laughs> said when Kobe died, and he was just like, I'm I'm not a fan of that many people younger than me, and like Kobe was like, one dude he was a fan of. Yeah. But I think that's all I'm saying. It's just harder, you know, because no. you've seen certain shit. Yeah. But I, but I rock with you heavy. I want you to win. That's. That's all I'm coming from. Nah, bro, I was a fan. Yeah. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna stray away from the title. Bro, you I was... lost some credibility. Y'all let us know in the comments if you lost <laughs> <man> credibility. <laughs> but it was, it's like so he had the whole, the whole teen brand thing going yeah, right. He is. rolled that, and then he dropped. Oh, damn, it's another, another about to be another. He dropped this one album where everybody was on his ass about the cover art, and I feel like that flipped something in his head, and he wanted to get away from. It. The whole teenage thing. It's like the Disney kid effect, bro. Like, yeah. like the Disney kids, they come out, they these nice, sweet kids, teenagers, mm-hmm. whatever. And then, like, six years later, they like twerking, you know what I'm saying, yeah. at the VMAs, wilding the fuck out. It's the yeah. same shit, bro. So, Yachty flipped from the whole, like, teenage, you know, dream thing into hood nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which, like, you w- gotta go to the extreme just to break the mold, and now you got more space. Yeah, but it was like, I mean, I personally, I feel like rappers flip into like the hood nigga brand. That's like the easy way out. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's so many other brands you could have flipped. That's like the easy, obvious one. You know what I'm saying? One hundred percent easiest way out. One hundred percent. Very, very comfortable. <laughs> yeah, but but I guess it worked for what he wanted. He's probably like, oh, I don't want people to see me as this like child anymore. So like you said, what's the most extreme version of that? A motherfucker walk around with a gun that might fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't get no more extreme. That, that was a complete polar opposite. That's you know? actually true. With yeah. his, like, what options would he have had? Like. I don't know. He could have been like an intellectual. That that would have been the other option. Would have been interesting. That's hard to maintain. I would love to get like some book recommendations from Yachty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe hear his his opinions on the political landscape of the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See that's where hard. things are. I, yeah, that's that's hard to maintain. You gotta, you gotta you gotta stay smart in what <laughs> yeah. you're saying, and then people don't take you seriously because of how you came in the game. And he could have, he can't go super artsy and because there's so many people that are artsy, it doesn't even like stick the same. Yeah, um, he's not weird enough to be super artsy. Yeah, he would have had to go strict stream and buy yeah. into that character. So I mean, I think, I mean, I think he he went through the door that was there for him. Yeah, I mean, we got some bangers out of it. Like I feel like Poland probably wouldn't have happened the same way if he didn't take that route. And then I don't understand too. It's like, bro, you signed the QC. Like everybody on QC is that brand, but you like I feel like you around there all the yeah. time. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, bro, you know his early background enough. It's like it's not like he was completely removed from that world. And especially like you know, we hear shit just being in Atlanta. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you hear shit all the time. So it's yeah. not like he's all the way out of it. But I just felt like it was the easy, the like too easy of a move to make. But it worked out. We got some bangers from it. Um, now he flipped it, and then he got Poland moving. And like I said, as a fan, bro, I personally think you know Poland could. Never mind. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna say beat out Taylor Swift. But never mind, bro. I'll take that back. So. <laughs> But Poland could go. I I believe that if they so, see what the internet sees, Poland could at least make it the top twenty. It can go far. Yeah, one hundred percent. It can go <laughs> far. Um, like Poland, <laughs> I want to win big. Yeah, yeah, hey man, ain't nobody messing with Taylor. Um, and another thing about the Poland moment is, I wonder how he came up with it. Like, cause so I. There's something that I, I kind of call like, it's like the in the moment creative strategic marketing. Yeah. Right? So it's not super strategic like I'm in a room and I'm going to make a banger for Poland specifically because I want X, Y, and Z to happen, right? Yeah. But there's a moment in time where I could really see Yachty being in Poland and just being like, man, I really fuck with Poland. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about Poland, you yeah. know what I mean? Or yeah. my Poland fans really fuck with me he might not be looking at the data on the charts right but he as an artist is maybe having that experience right and and experiencing that yo it's really strong out here and i get so much love and make that song so of course you already know it's probably doing something really good in bowling for the people 100 percent. but poland is eating it up got to right the 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 comments like on the meme posts around it have been gold, bro. I don't know what if you've you been. Mean? No, I haven't seen those. Like that's just, just fans are making. It's like I saw this one comment that was like, uh, what did it say? It was like, uh, Lil Yachty single handedly came to Poland and fixed our, our country's government. Thank you, Poland for <laughs> thank you, Yachty for saying. It's been like shit like that. Like people from like yeah. Poland coming, like yo, like Yachty came over here like just and changed the world. Did you ever see that one joke meme about um like Young Thug? 
uh, helping out like a little girl, and then she later grew up to be Rosa Parks or some shit like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro. It's like all the jokes have been like in that same yeah, vein, yeah, yeah. and it's been beautiful, bro. It's probably one of the the best meme. I don't know. I don't know if it was. I think it was a strategy. I think they did it on purpose. But it's been one of the best outcomes of a meme strategy. I think in a long time, bro. Mm-hmm. They they joke this man back into to super relevancy, bro. Like, hey, see, yeah. <laughs> see, this is why we trying to tell y'all the power of jokes, man. Yeah, bro. If you can type in laugh at, you gonna be all right. That's the game. That, that's part of the game. You just gotta sit there long enough for it to change, for the tide to change. You know what I mean? You see that wave and hop on it. Yeah, that that right there is. Like we might have to do a whole like talk around <laughs> comedy and how that helps brands. But I want to go to this other clip that you sent me. Oh, uh, yeah. I still got to watch it. Like, in whole, I don't know if it was, there was more to add. But, man, yo. No, that shit's. Just a little bit I heard was hilarious. Funny and informative. So, 50 Cent 